So we've joined our four middle pieces and I've given them an iron as well. Now it's time we're going to join the uh, tractor and scooter block. On either side, we're going to put a checkered flag block. So let's grab our tractor and scooter block. And I'm going to join a checkered flag block to either side of our scooter and the tractor one. Okay, so I've joined the checkered flag blocks to either side of the scooter and tractor and given them an iron. So we now have our four strips of alphabet blocks. We have our tractor scooter block with the checkered flag and we have our middle block. And they are all the pieces that we need to construct the quilt top here. So I'm going to place it together now. So we need the, the top row of the alphabet and it's going to go onto the top of the scooter and tractor. Now there are a couple of seams that will meet up here. If you wish to pin, you're most welcome to pin. And with the kits, as we cut them out, um, they do all match. So um, if you're using all the correct seams and everything, uh, you should be fine with just placing it in and sewing it. But you're most welcome to use pins. Okay, so we have our top row onto our track from the scooter and we need to place the next row of the alphabet. Make sure you get them in the right order. I'm sure uh, the kids will let you know if you haven't put them on in the correct alphabetical order. As you're sewing along, help your seams to go to the correct direction. So they do get caught underneath the throat plate and that and go the wrong direction. So I stop, lift your foot, leave the needle down and um, correct the seam. So we now have our third row together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to now put the bottom piece that's similar to this with the tractor together and then join the middle block, um, join these to either, end, either side of the middle block. Mainly because if I keep going, it's just going to be a, a huge length of the quilt that I'm adding one small piece to, and that can distort, but it also gets very bulky around your machine. So do it in little sections and join bigger sections to bigger sections rather than a huge section to one small strip. So I'll join the rest together. Okay, so I've joined the three middle ones rows and then I've just joined on the middle section and I'm now going to join the top three rows to the middle section. There is a seam in the middle there that meets. Okay so we've now put together our um, quilt middle just going to give it a night and then we'll come back and I'm going to put the sashing on. Okay, so we've taken out the um, backing and sashing fabric from our kit. I've actually folded my quilt in half and then folded down the backing fabric. It's a little bit of excess, but we can see that we're going to get the length of the quilt for the sashing. These need to be cut at six and a half inches wide. So I'm going to chop off the backing fabric here and then cut four strips six and a half inch wide. And because I had that excess piece there it doesn't have to be totally accurate and there's plenty of fabric left um, from the kit for our backing. fold up the backing fabric okay and we need to cut four six and a half inch wide strips from here
use my shape cut plus ruler again. As you can see, this is only a 13 inch ruler, so we'll use our straight one. Our normal 20, 24 inch ruler. So I'm going to first get a straight edge. 